This is Ontario's vegetable garden. The Holland Marsh, 50 kilometers north of Toronto, is comprised of 3,000 hectares of land. There's 28 kilometers of canals and dikes for irrigation. Every year they produce $50 million worth of produce. And it's not all automated. There's an awful lot of human work, hard work that goes into this. There's a lot more machinery than there ever was. The irrigation is more automated, but there's still a lot of hard work. Tornado Street, wow. Look at all the stuff, all these buildings and crates and tractors and everything that are used. It's a huge amount of work. There's been talk lately about making some changes to the Holland Marsh. I don't know what's going on with that, putting a road through here or something like that. I don't know what changes that would make. I've been buying vegetables from the Holland Marsh for probably 40 years at the farmer's market in Kitchener. So when we heard there were going to be some changes, or might be some changes, we came out. We started doing this about three years ago, trying to get here through the seasons to watch the plowing and the planting and uh, harvesting. It's all done by hand, you know, mostly. I mean, people are crawling around out there pulling the carrots, and there's a lot of root vegetables and things growing here. They'll be out there like all day under the sun. I mean, it gets hot, I'm sure, and it's hard work. There's tractors involved and greenhouses and everything like that. If you've ever been in a greenhouse on a hot day, you know what that's like. They seem to make very good use of the land. There's all different crops in different places. Pretty much perfectly straight rows everywhere. I mean, it's really neat. You can see some of the dikes along here. I actually carried a turtle across the road there and wound up getting some stinging nettle on my feet. Green leafy things. I remember buying big bags of carrots to make carrot juice there. About an hour's drive from Kitchener, I guess, a little more, and they they would bring the crops into the farmer's market and sell them. Three thousand hectares is a lot of land. And it's look at that beautiful rose. Wow, we. I thought they grew fruit here as well, but they don't. It's just mostly root vegetables and things like that. Carrots, onions, celery. Beautiful rose. Look at that. That old house, well, I, the last time I went by there, I just drove past it because I have so many pictures of it over the past few years. There's one. Another one. Wow, going back to nature. doesn't take long to drive the whole uh, property. We, we've done it many times. I'll stop and take a picture and wonder what's happening. These are pretty nice, nice and green and leafy. I think a day would go pretty long being out there doing that. I've been up on roofs doing roofing and things like that. Sun beating down on you really takes a toll.
serious amount of plowing to be done. Wow. And it's so flat. I mean, wow. Like I've driven across the prairies and this is pretty flat and pretty good farm ground too. Look at that. Wow. I love these. I don't know what that is, but it's really neat. The rose looks like heather and things like that I've seen. Different kind of a day now, sunset. That house is a little more broken down right there. Look at that, wow we What crops. These are onions, I think, lots of onions, ready to pick them up and put them in those boxes and send them around the world. There's really good farmland around where I live, but it's not at all as flat as this is. There's lots of flat ground around here, but this seems really neat. I guess that's why it's a marsh. It was like sort of boggy or something. Beautiful sunset. This is the end of a 60-day trip that we were on, and we just decided to come back and check out Holland Marsh one last time. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like, subscribe, come on back again real soon.